Hello, um, it's been a while since I've uh, put a video on, um, sorry about that, but um, put the, the beetle back together and then I was having carb issues, um, I did rebuild that, um, but I think I had a block jet because it wouldn't idle properly and then when you block your hand over the air intake or the uh, the venturi I think it is or the throat of the carb or just blocking off the air filter um, it would be alright um, so I think I had a block, block jets but I'll take it apart see I have got a load of other carburetor parts in the other garage there's Tilly uh, just missed her um, in the other garage um, so I'll probably rebuild that, sort it out. Here are the plugs that come out of it, very because uh, I didn't set, I'd not had a, uh, a gas analyzer or um, should we say a, an emissions machine or um, to set the carb up correctly. Um, so it was running uh, a bit rich, a bit sooty. Um, these are the pistons in it, they don't look that bad. Um, there's no excessive, you know, like bad scoring where you'd see um, faded patterns on the skirt of the piston. Um, it, it looks to be okay. That it's probably looks a bit faded on the camera, but there is oil still on it. Um, so I'm getting new piston rings for it. Just ordered them. Um, some new push rod tubes, new push rod tube seals, new rocker cover gaskets. I've got other rocker covers. Um, one thing I can, what I do like is this uh, Permatex High Tack gasket sealant. Um, it seals the. These are prone for leaking the the rocker covers um, but use some of this that that's probably the the outcome of using the high tack sealant on the head then putting the or putting gas the high tack stuff in the rocker cover putting the gasket and then more putting more high tack on the back side of the uh, of the cork gasket um, if I remember correctly when we put this in storage I did take the flywheel off and reset the the end float but I think I did it a bit too tight but I've had no problems with it um, so far um, um, there's a floating by the way it's not broke um, the rods looked okay, the, the bores of the barrels, a um, little bit of a ridge there, um, still has some of the cross hatching points in it. Um, I think if I give it measure or give it a click, uh, a, uh, a quick glaze with um, some wet and dry, um, probably the finest stuff that I can get. Um, or a different assortment, loads of WD-40 and just do it by hand and then measure it with the veneer at the top and at the bottom um, and see what it's like. Um, and I've got a bore gauge um, in the, well there's two actually, or it might even be three but I think they're stuck, um, they, they don't read properly on the DTI gauges um, The little pins that you have in them are stuck I think so I might have just to get some um, the hand ones, the telescopic ones that you can just release when you put them in um, so there's the head um, bit of the cork gasket still on um, took all the the valves out, uh, the prone for exhaust valves um, breaking and dropping uh, it had they have cleaned them up uh, it had about um, some like white powdery color on them um, I've ordered new exhaust valves but I might also need new guides now as well in this head um, 
show you what I mean. Sorry about the bad quality, just put valve back in the head for you. So I can show you. Um, right, so on that's the inlet. I'm getting no movement or just ever so slight with me. And the same on that one. There's a little bit, but then you onto the exhaust ones. Hear that. There is a lot of uh, movement there. Um, so I can't remember who my dad had this redone by. He bought the Beetle back in 2005 and he had the engine redone. Um, just stripped apart and anything needed was done um, I think as far as I'm aware he put new bearings in it I think he might have put new guides in the head and new valves but on some of the valves on the exhaust ones they look like they're elongated which I think is about right um, for doing guide you're probably not yeah I've not got the best of light in here um, which I think is about Right, because you've got to set them up, ream them, for when you put them in again. Um, sorry. Right. Um, I couldn't see any cracks in the head, because you're usually cracking between the valve. It looked like there was one there, but it might just be a casting mark um what side was that this is the low compression side so this is probably why i'm having low compression on three and four if the flipping see look at the guide in there i've got have we got a torch i can show you this i've not got it they're all broke yeah that's no good um Get some light. They're elongated anyway, the, the guides. Um, so it might want new guides in the in the heads. Um, that one might be alright because they had when you when you put your hand over the exhaust, because the exhaust on these is basically just out of the heat exchanger on the back bit. And then goes to a silencer and then two tips coming out well one on each side you put your hand over three and four feels low put your hand over one and two feels okay so that might be a bad head if you want a new guides um, I've either got two options I've got a load of heads I can look through um, or put new guides in this. Um, first time I've ever fitted guides into one to be honest so it'd be a learning experience for me as well as you. Um, as far as I'm aware you heat the head up or at least heat the head up and then spray the guide to cool it down or at least get the guide cold. I've got a valve guide um, tool that will push the guides out for me and then you put the head back in the oven or let it cool down first before you do it and then you put the new guides in the freezer overnight um, to shrink them and then the head should be bigger the guide should be smaller so they should go in and then once all the heat dispersion happens the head should go tighter the guide should go bigger and that's the way that one should be um, but then I need a reamer or oh, I think there's a um, I've got them they're only for cleaning carbon out there would probably not do it I'd need like a specific reamer or take the head to a, an engine shop a machine place 
um, get them to put new guide, but it depends on how much they want. They might want £20 a guide or something like that. I mean, I don't think that's far off getting another replacement head, to be honest. Um, not what I wanted to find out today, but oh well. Uh, spark plug threads are good. Uh, I've got a proper spark plug um, tap. Uh, that is where it's gone. It should be about somewhere. Uh, no. There's some NPT taps for making an air cooled engine full float when you pull the plugs out of it. The oil gallery plugs. Um, M6 tap for that. No, they're BSP. They would do for NPT, BS, um, BSP, British Standard Pipe, and then NPT's National Pipe Thread. Apparently, according to an engineer, they would do, but I wasn't a big fan of using them because either NPT or BSP isn't a straight cut thread. It's on a 45 degree angle, so it feels like it goes in, but it actually doesn't seal. Uh, so you need to put Loctite on it or... PTFE tape. I wasn't really going to risk having loads of oil leaks when flipping, doing that and wrecking an engine case. Um, didn't really want to do it to be honest. Um, there's the, the valve guide tool uh, from Snap On. Um, these do them. Uh, I think I bought this for doing this job actually. Uh, it's meant to be for a, an air hammer or I can use that 6 ton press. Uh, you put it in an air hammer and it just hammers the guide out. Um, I'm trying to still find this flipping spark plug tap. It looks like it's gone flipping walkabouts for some reason. I've still not sorted my toolbox after messing about with the garage and that. So that's why I've not done a, a, tool, a toolbox uh, build. Uh, not a toolbox build, a flipping toolbox walk through um, all them bits are uh, seem to collect bits when you work in a service centre from fitting wiper blades to exhausts the springs off them uh, with new fitting kits, stem seals, um, what else was there? there? I have got more bits somewhere, but I'll not bother moving that. But that's uh, the tool for pulling the guides out anyway, because uh, they run 8mm guides on the standard, I think it is, off the top of my head. I might be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Um, so that probably wants new guides, new exhaust valves, but I've ordered new exhaust valves because they're prone to um, breaking. Because it being an air cooled engine, you get a lot more um, combu uh, higher combustion temperatures, as far as I'm aware. I might be wrong on that as well. Um, but they usually break off um, from the stem to the uh, head of the valve. Um, and then just drop the valve then um, seems to happen because they, they just don't last with the heat transfer with them um, got the engine stand set up uh, waiting until my dad comes home so I can put this on the floor get him to hold the the block and I can undo the gland nut pull the flywheel off do the rear main because it's leaking all from the rear main um, that's why I originally pulled it out and then it broke down on me so I was really peed off then uh, fit the new distributor it distributor distributor to it it's got a new fuel pump it's had an alternator conversion kit done to it because the dynamo foobard on me so it's now got an alternator there's the clutch uh, and it seems to have got contaminated and shiny with the oil and it didn't look a bad clutch but you can buy replacement friction pressure plates and uh, 
release bearings for them. Um, the release bearing didn't sound that bad. It was only the friction plate. And according to me, because the grooves aren't that bad, it would probably come up a little bit maybe with some flat emery cloth on a piece of glass, straight piece of glass to because there's no bad marks in it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, it's 22 quid for a new friction disc. It's an old car, that's why they do everything. Um, some valves in here that I had a mess around with. Um, we'll do them all. Yeah, oh. I think they're probably too big. They're probably the only ones that have fit. I don't know. I think these might all be too big. Um, but there is another case in there. That is it so far. I've got. I better have not shown you the gas conversion bits either. Um, right, I'll do. I'll. I'll do that as a separate video. I'll leave this one here. So, um, thanks for watching. Any questions? I'll get back to you. Um, I'm off now for a week from college. Um, so I'll get.